Hello everybody and welcome to Red 2 Chatter. Uh, today's going to be kind of a drowsy day. This is the show all about Star Wars. Um, today's a bit of a slow week for news. It, not much came out. Right, it just seems like lately um, it's feast or famine for <laughs> yeah, Star Wars news. And we decided on famine. No, well, <laughs> we, we feasted for Thanksgiving. Maybe that's why they didn't put much out. Yeah, yeah. Um... So we just got like five things, uh, not five, some... more than five, but you know, we're not, we don't have show notes today, so we just, we're just going to be free balling it. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go to the Praetorian guard with the heavy blade, which I just tipped. So we got the clicked on something else by accident. Sideshow Collectibles has their Praetorian guard figure. Available for pre-order, I think it's yes, available it's pre-order. for pre-order. And oh yeah, it won't be out for another year before you actually get it, right. or more. And I, <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a single figure, and it comes with like various weapons and helmets, so you can yeah. kind of interchange Two between the different and... styles. Yeah, of the Praetorian guards, it looks super cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah, just, uh, I just can't get them all though. I can't afford right, to. Right. <laughs> I don't have the room I mean, for them. As <laughs> much as I love it, it'll probably be one I'm. We'll pass, pass that, on, unless yeah. I just fall in love with them in the movie. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe. that might yeah, change like, my mind. Like the Imperial Guards in the original movie. I mean, if they just turn out to be this kick-ass elite force, yeah, you know, uh, then maybe, yeah, <laughs> it might change my mind. Yeah, I just can't collect them all. It's too expensive because they come out That's with like stuff every every month. There's like two or three new Star Wars. If I spent my money on that, I wouldn't have money for food. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Rent? What's that? I don't need rent this month. Yeah. <laughs> a car payment? I don't need to make that car payment this month. Yeah. I could just get one figure. Yeah. Instead of pay my car payment. Yeah, so. <laughs> Maybe once I get my car paid off, I can just get a figure a month instead. <laughs> instead of paying for a car. <laughs> until you need a new car. We'll see car. what happens. Right. Yeah, until you need a new car. Yeah, then I wish I had that money. <laughs> but uh, but uh, space is yeah, limited too. Space as well. is the biggest problem I have. Is space. Same right. here, actually. Yeah, your room's filling up pretty quick, uh -huh. too. So, uh, well, basically, it's like the, the spear guy, or as I like to call him, the Guan Yu, because he has the same, if you guys play Dynasty Warriors, he has the same weapon as Guan Yu from yeah, that I, game. I would consider that a halberd. Yeah, it's like a halberd. Yeah. Halberd kind of mm -hmm. weapon. Um, or the sword that turns into a whip is the other Yeah. Uh What's cool is it looks like it actually does turn from one to the other. It's yeah, I don't know how you. I don't know how they're gonna do that. Looks like, like it's gonna... pretty static if you like put it all together, and maybe it's got you know some magnets sort of flexible or wings. I bet it's magnets. Maybe I don't know. I could I mean, be totally wrong. Something flexible linking them together. together. Yeah. It looks really cool. Yeah, the base looks pretty cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm just excited. I, I I'm excited to see these guys and their, uh, you know. I think they're going to the get movie. more play than the Emperor's Royal Guard, but oh, I don't sure. I don't know if there's going to be a lot to them in this next movie. I, I don't know. I think they're going to be involved a lot in the opening scenes with Kylo and his training. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I can think see he'll that. be fighting them, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. All right. So the next one is that The Last Jedi International TV spot features new shot of DJ. So yeah, it's really our first on-screen shot. Sure. Yeah. Of Benicio del Toro's character DJ, and he's like standing in front of a whole bunch of right. Star he, he looks pretty first order troopers. friendly with the first, first order. order. <laughs> yeah, but he could also be infiltrating. Right, maybe he's a spy for the rebels. You never know, or the resistance. I'm sorry, or maybe rebels. like he just plays both sides. Or he like does. Whoever yeah, pays yeah. the most, you know. So. Or he's a smuggler or a bounty hunter or a, right. You know, whatever. Just Arms dealer that sells to both sides. Right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's just friendly with the, uh, you know, doesn't have any really connection with the First Order. Maybe he just does business with the First Order. like a freelancer, yeah. kind of. Where he, he probably does jobs for both the Resistance and the First yeah. Order. Maybe. Yeah, who knows. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm excited to see the, the actor, though. Oh, yeah, he's I, a great actor. I love Benicio Del Toro. Uh, he's awesome. And I, you know, I'm excited to see him in a Star Wars movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they gave him an actual role where he just looks like himself. Yeah. You know, he's, he's not like, like he's in a helmet or something. Other than Prince Henry and 
<laughs> Prince Harry. Prince Harry. Prince Harry and, and Prince William. Prince Williams. Yeah, they're going to be in there. But I think that's just kind of something Trevor. funny to do. Like, you yeah, know. that's just, they want to be in it. Yeah. So, they're like, you know, yeah, just be first. like, oh, I'll put you in there. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be a first, first order trooper. trooper. Nobody's going to see you. And nobody will know it's you until I tell them. And I'm sure a lot of people are like, yeah, that's fine. Right. You know. I'd be yeah. cool with that if they want to put me in the movie Heck as a yeah. first order trooper that just walks by. A, I'll like, just, I, I don't even care if my scene gets put onto the cutting room floor. Right. <laughs> at least I was on the freaking set. set and right? I had the, uh, the costume. Yeah, I wouldn't mind just being costumed up in a cantina or something that, or yeah. at, like Canto Bike Casino. Yeah, yeah man, I would, I would totally go for right? that. Even if I was just like in the background on us, you know, <laughs> when they swing the camera through. That'd be cool. That it could be the back of my head. And they could, like you said, they could cut it. Could hit the, the cutting room floor. The and I would be cool the bridge, You know, I knew because I would know I was there. That's all that matters to me. Right. I, I've heard that those uh, first order trooper like costumes are very pinchy. I wouldn't doubt it. All you know, plastic. Like ah, you go, ah, <laughs> like every time you walked, it would like pinch your thigh or whatever. But you get used to it eventually. I mean, that's what I've heard from people like. Who have actually been in the First Order costumes. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing the Stormtroopers were the same way. Yeah, probably. So we got the Star Wars Last Jedi, how the Crystal Foxes were created. So these guys are called the Volptexes. The Volptexes. And thank you for completely switching to a different link that I didn't click on. (laughs) Um, And it says... They live within the burrows and within the tunnels beneath the planet. Uh, so there is a time where their ability to shine within the darkness should provide a guiding light to our heroes. So is that the planet the, crate? Planet crate. Okay. Yep. That's why. That's why I figured that's the main planet. It seems like we're going to be visiting on this yep. episode. Yeah. And it says the idea is that these wonderful sort of feral creatures have lived on this planet and had consumed the planet's surface. And as such, had become crystalline. Crystal glass chandel- chandeliers and the, the sort of luminosity and elements of refraction. So that's what they were inspired by. Yeah. I just wonder, did we get a little bit of foreshadowing of what these are going to be with the uh, Loth Wolf? Are they, they, they going to be force, similar, are they force, be force sensitive, sensitive creatures? I, creatures? I, I doubt it. You doubt I mean, it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, I just don't think the movies will ever get into that as much as the cartoons can. Probably get not into it. because it's it's yeah, it's definitely harder to do as a movie, right? To try to introduce that stuff and make it make I, spend enough time on it to make it make sense. I, th- I think it'll just be a creature that doesn't really help them like willingly. They just are help. They assist them because they're there, not yeah. because they mean to. Yeah, you know. Like the Loth Wolf shows up and means to assist Kanan and, you know, and Ezra, is there yeah. to assist Ezra. Whereas these, I think they just use them because they are there. Yeah. So. And then we got some Lego sets coming out. Christmas, yeah. Christmas ideas. Christmas yep. ideas. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Yeah, these, this I is like, like that the one. That one's one. like probably my favorite one. That's the very first Octo. One. Which is like the Temple what? of Octo uh, with Luke and. Is that like, so she's busting up a rock. Yeah. Looks like, but there's like something inside the rock. So I don't know. That wasn't me. Might have been mine. <laughs> but mine, mine doesn't make that noise. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's pretty interesting. I like little. I like his little hut. It's a very small little set. I think that's the temple. Is it? Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's. You know, <laughs> that's one tiny temple. You got to remember. Legos don't aren't usually to scale, <laughs> right? Uh, and then we got the more battle of crate stuff, which looks like you get some like a ship, one of the crate, whatever the speeders or whatever yeah, they're like, called. Yeah, and then you get also a pe- couple pieces of ground equipment too, which like, is kind of cool. So you get yeah, you both got a turret. And more. Yeah, got like a turret. And then... Very reminiscent of Hoth. To yeah, me. I mean. I, I, I don't think that. I really ATS think the whole battle is going to play out a lot different than the Hoth one did. I think this one's going to. Do you think they're going to lose? Well, I think there's going to be more air battles too. You're going to have. I think you have Tie Fighters and X Wings fighting it out too in this. Right, in I think air. it's going to be a more en- encompassing battle yeah, where there's like the ground battle going on as well as the space, space battle. battle. Yeah, because you, ne- you never got to see any of the ground battle in in Hoth. Or Not the, really. The, the air battle, you mean? 
There was really no air battle, though. They are just shooting at him. Oh, yeah, you, you didn't really... Defense. You're right. There, you didn't see a lot of the ground battle. The was, soldiers on the ground. You just saw them shooting the weapons every now and then. You saw the, the snow speeders flying around the... But really, yeah. when you watch the battle scenes, there's not a lot to them. Now you watch, no. watch the rebels run and jump into trenches. trenches yeah, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, never saw how they actually like how the all those guys got overrun and how the stormtroopers got or the snowtroopers got Darth into Vader the base. got into the base. And to be honest, that. that was mostly because of the the limitations, the, the limitations of, the of the stuff, special effects and stuff. Yeah, from but back with nowadays, the you can definitely do that. Yes, show both right. sides. Yeah, this um, had a limitation on what they could do back then because of limited budget, limited resources, but, limited just so, special effects in general were limited. I mean, still the way Empire Strikes Back went about doing that whole scene, you didn't need all of that extra stuff. You, no. It filled you in perfectly. Like, you knew exactly what was it outside without ever seeing it. Yeah. You knew that the rebels were overwhelmed. Well, and they were all just, you know, all killed off. Yeah. yeah. So, you got, uh, so you got Captain Poe Dameron, Admiral Emat. Which is this dude right here with the white hair? Never heard of that guy before right. until uh, now. Resistance trooper, yeah. first order snow troopers are what these guys are. Yeah, they were in the they were in the first movie. The snow, yeah. snow troopers. Oh yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah, they were on uh, the oh, yeah, base, star right? killer base, star killer base. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next one is this one. Is this a really tiny sh- set? Uh. It just says, what, First Order Specialists Battle Pack? Yeah. So you got the melee troopers. Um, they're blasters. You got, I guess this is like a another specialist guy. And you got the guy in the... He's probably a gunner. Gunner. Yeah. Gunner. The, yeah. yeah. Those are probably the gunner outfits. So are these, black ones. is this also taking place on crate? Are these guys going to be coming out? This looks like a or? holdover from... The Star Killer base. Yeah, that's yeah. what it looks like to me. Is more except for the they didn't have those axe guys and yeah, but they were First around. Ways. Yeah, sure, they were around. They just didn't show them. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, that could because especially if I'm looking at the background, like the right. the picture the in the snow. background, the snow and stuff. That's definitely not crate. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely probably more Star, Star Killer. And then base. why would they send snow troopers down on crate? They might need the same sort of protection. Maybe you know, it might not need. The heat protection, but maybe like the blowing dust and all that stuff, the yeah. protection from all that, maybe those suits are more, you know, so more that, suited for that. They right. not only have stuff from the newer game, the newer mm-hmm. stuff, they also have some prequel cool stuff here. Yep. Uh, we got Mace Windu and General Grievous, which this fight scene never happened, but... <laughs> they might have in the Lego cartoon movie. Oh, might have. I don't know. I've never watched it. Yeah, but we get... I mean, Grievous is a cool figure oh yeah mace windu is probably my least favorite character of all of star wars yeah even after even i'll take jar jar binks over mace windu <laughs> that guy just that's pretty low all he does piss me off <laughs> every time it's just like he was just an arrogant freaking jackass <laughs> yeah right. i never liked his character yeah i mean i do like though when sammy have you ever seen the the um interview or it was it was kind of a behind the scenes type of thing where Samuel L. Jackson came up to George Lucas and he's like, so like, who do I talk to about the color of my lightsaber? And he's like, oh, well, good guys are blue and green, bad guys are red. And he's like, nobody's got a purple one? And he's like, you can have a purple one if you want. <laughs> so, so that's the story of his purple one because he wanted a purple one. So they gave him it. And the funny thing is, is that they rolled with it and decided to make kind of the purple lightsaber a lore thing where... You know, he could use both the dark side and the light side. He was kind of the balance, kind of a balance between the two of them, though he leaned more to the light side, of course. Yeah, I just never liked that character. No, me neither. He, he's, the, he's the beginning of the pissing off of freaking Anakin that, Skywalker. I mean, right when he brings him in there, he's like, hey, he's too old, he's too old. we can't train him, we're not going to train him. <laughs> well, that we're whole character seemed forced. Yeah. Like, it just seemed like shoehorned into the movie. And, and he kind of was. By all accounts, he, that's pretty much what happened mm-hmm. Samuel L. Jackson pretty much begged to get in a role and George Lucas just kind of created kind of just created nothing. one yeah after the fact yeah, yeah. And that, that's why he never I never liked his character and he never really fed in and he's I didn't right. even like him in the cartoon version of like in Clone, uh, Wars. Clone Wars his character was still just that arrogant jackass <laughs> I mean he, I, I did kind of like him when they were trying to save the um the one beast the huge 
thing oh, with the hand yeah. on its tail. The claw yeah, on its whatever, tail. Yeah, the, where the Dugs, wherever the Dugs live. Yeah, was yeah. The one that was down in there. Yeah. yeah. I, I liked him in that one because he, you know, he actually had the right idea. Him and Anakin actually agreed on something for once yeah. in their lives and <laughs> decided that they wanted to protect this thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I liked him in that episode. I'd rather have seen that figure, uh, like, a Jedi instead of Mace Windu in the movies. They should have used somebody like Pong Krell yeah. instead. Because he fit in more with the universe. Like, he, you know... He was in the Clone Wars, the cartoon, mm. but, you know, the guy with the forearms, like, yeah. like the diner owner. Oh, yeah, and he was like, a, yeah, he was a jackass. Well, he was, but I mean, <laughs> it, like, fit sort of his... His, his overall character? Yeah. His overall character. And he was, like, very militaristic, and, you know, yeah. we sacrificed the clones. They don't mean anything to yeah. Yeah. their clones. That's, <laughs> probably, that's probably one of the best arcs in, we're in making the Clone them. Wars. <laughs> Yeah, we're artificially making them. They they're endless. We yeah, don't need them. They're just like the robots, basically to him. Right. They yeah. The to same him, thing. he was the droids. The droids. He was yeah. freaking crazy because he had double dual wield lightsabers. Right. Like, double bladed dual wield lightsabers. Yeah. So as far as like a Jedi that's sort of like on the edge, I preferred him way. Yeah. To yeah. Mace Windu. Windu. Yeah. You know. Because I. I was gonna say I've, I have a feeling that you're not supposed to hate necessarily Mace Windu. You just kind of did. <laughs> I, was, I was just never a fan of Mace Windu. But with that guy, you are supposed to hate him. Yeah, I kind of this is like probably my favorite one that they yeah making like, right here. I like right. this one a lot. Throwback to a New Hope. Yep. yep. We got so I, I always love this kind of rivalry between these two races, the Tusken Raiders and the Jawas. It's like because they're complete opposites. If you, if you really think right. about it, Tuscan Raiders, they just take whatever. They don't try to like refurbish it or whatever. They just destroy. Basically. Yeah, they're just looking for either. I don't even know what they're looking for when they're attacking people. Money, weapons. They're they're just taking anything they can use, use for, the, for, themselves. for themselves. Yeah, yeah. I don't even really think they use money. It's just you know weapons or Whereas whatever they can use. Jawas materials. are taking to sell so, to, to make, somebody right? to make to, my, right. to make money. Yeah, as a form of commerce. So this one looks pretty cool. It's like a little speeder. <laughs> Like yeah, the Jawas yeah. used to collect droids. <laughs> yeah, who, who knew? And they're shooting their shock rifles. Yep. Adam. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool little set. Oh, That'll yeah. go perfect with your little Tatooine. Oh yeah, I got a whole bunch in of there. Go with, <laughs> go with these guys here. It's yep. part of Tatooine. <laughs> the skiff, the skiff, and the pit of yep. All right, moving on to the next topic. The Good. new cover for Timothy Zahn's. Thrawn Alliances, which is the second book. I'm not sure how many he's going to make of the Thrawn. I mean, he might do another trilogy. He might. Just like he did the... It's kind of an interesting cover with him and Darth Vader together. Right. Yeah. I it, mean... it would be interesting to see the how they interact with each other. Like, is this going to yeah. be after Rebels? It's got to be kind of... It can't be before Rebels, because he hasn't really do dealt with Vader in Rebels. No, have they even they haven't even been on the screen together? No, they? no, I mean they've no. been they've talked to each other in the original book. Oh, in the book you read, the, 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 the Jordan, book that Jordan read, Jordan, yeah. <laughs> that our sister the first, read, the first Thawne novel. Because she she basically told me like the whole plot synopsis of it. But apparently, yeah, he he meets him. He talks with Vader a lot towards the end of the first book, from what I can gather. But hmm. I think Thrawn also had a familiarity with Anakin. Yeah, that you know. Yeah, well, maybe, we never saw it play out. Maybe those, other. maybe the comic books will flush that out a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Know. Yeah. Um, I need to read the first one before I get this one, but the the cover is cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you gotta wonder what this one's gonna be about. Is it gonna be like where you predict, where he's gonna leave, like alliances, right? It's called alliances. So, I don't think he's gonna fully go to the rebel side, but I think he is going to. Well, slightly help them out in ways from what i know of thrawn is his true alliance is to his own people mm -hmm. whereas vader's alliance is to the, the empire, empire. The, yeah. so maybe it's they have to work together but they know that they're not in for the same end game yeah you know like they're their paths are different, but they're going to have to work together on something. Yeah, and, That's what I'm guessing. And the alliances could change. He could be allied to the to the Empire at first in this book. And then as the Empire starts going towards the Death Star in the direction that he doesn't like, he might veer towards the 
more the rebel side of alliancing, you know, just like maybe not full on alliance, but helping them a little bit to see if he can get rid of the Death Star. Because that's one thing he doesn't like. Yeah. But, and even in the Rebels cartoon, you can see his sort of admiration for like people like Hera. Uh, oh, yeah. And, you know, like these are formidable people that he's having to face. Fuss. Like, yeah. And I don't think he expected that from just a ragtag bunch, bunch, bunch of, of group. Yeah. Of people, you know. Yeah, he's, he's always seemed to be a little impressed with the, their abilities with their limited resources. Right. It's like, right. wow, they, can act, they actually can actually do some stuff, even though they don't have much in the way of backing. Yeah. yeah. So. It, yeah, he's definitely a different... I, don't, I wouldn't even call him a villain. He's just out to do his own <laughs> thing, you thing. Know? Yeah, I don't know what you would consider Thrawn. Kind he's of kind a, of like a dark gray character, I would say. Yeah, he just... He's not, I don't think he's like, he's definitely not a Darth Vader. No. But he's definitely not a good guy either. Certainly not an emperor. No. So I'm, I'm interested in the comic book. My, just seeing this cover makes me want to read that comic book even more. Yeah, I need to go put it in my hold box so I make sure I get it. <laughs> because I just want to see like sort of where Thrawn came from, you know, what the Chiss are all about. and Yeah. That kind of stuff. So we got, Brian Johnson talks about the new Star Wars trilogy. So this will be the one that he's going to be doing that's not related to the saga. Right. Yeah. Which, God, I've been like thinking about what could he poss- what story could he possibly tell, you know? Yeah. And so he says, uh, according to the filmmaker, he's still at the very beginning of planning the new ju- trilogy. Of course. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to see, he says. Uh, we're, we, I'm just at the beginning of starting to come up what with with what the new trilogy is going to be what makes me so excited about it is the idea of doing a new story on the big pit canvas of three movies in this world there's just so much potential and i can't wait to jump into it yeah i have no clue it can go anywhere yeah so this is just like you can't even speculate right nope. now what the heck is gonna uh, happen and here here's the great thing about that is like when the movies do start coming out we won't be able to speculate because we may not have any thing to go off of to like you know f- to propose any speculations yeah <laughs> once it starts to come out like we're it'll be just like when star wars a new hope came out in 1977 <laughs> what's, what's this what's this <laughs> <laughs> what's it's, this what's, gonna be all about I mean, we still know there's the star wars universe but we could, it could be to have nothing to do with the force right it could yeah. have nothing to do with the empire it could have nothing to do with the first order it could have nothing to do with but yeah right. it could be just like total like I said, Different. complete yeah. blank canvas, canvas, you know. So it'll be like I mean, hard to speculate yeah. on what will happen. There's yeah. still the there's still the Star Wars universe. You're still gonna have the Force, and you you know, but it may not be you know, may not be a major part of the story. Right. It's there, but you know, you know, the only way it would is if you get into like Old Republic stuff. But he could change up what we already know. No, of the Old Republic, Republic yeah, because yeah. use any of it because it's all not canon anymore right. so he can do and whatever he wants with it right not if that's used, where he goes yeah if that's where it ends up going or who knows but i'm excited about it it's yeah, just I, I can't it's wait. Be so new i can't wait till we start getting a little bit of like just just a little bit of the plot or how, where it's set or the time period or whatever right. once we get that then we'll be able to do a little more speculating on what we <laughs> right. think it's going to be because right now heck right. it could be anything Right. Yeah. It could be a thousand years in the future of freaking what's going on. It right could take now. place at the same time of one of the movies, just uh, like completely different. What's going on? Yeah. People. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's just crazy to think about. Like, yeah. It's like, and where his mind must be going is <laughs> trying to come up with an idea <laughs> and stick with one <laughs> singular idea. It'd be hard to do. <laughs> be, <laughs> yeah. Just going everywhere. That's how my brain would be going. It's like I don't know what to right. do. I mean, and, the, and, and the responsibility, man. That's man. That'd be stressful, or it could be if you're maybe. I mean, maybe he's in the creative enough guy, and it doesn't bother him. But that would like stress me out that I'm like taking Star Wars in a totally different direction. Right. That Just there's already breathe. millions and millions and millions of fans. You know, tens of millions of fans, and then there you got, you know. The five hundred thousand super fans that are out there that are you know fanatic about this stuff, and just the stress of pleasing those people, but bigger audience as well. Right, and Man. getting new people in yeah. to accept it. Like, who? I mean, 
we're all working on just a graphic novel with our sister, and we're struggling with just coming up with a singular idea <laughs> of a story to tell. Yeah. I can't imagine. At least he has a, a world already built. built true. Mm, that true. he can just put a story into. Yeah, he's got the he's got the world building part of the story done because it's already the, the Star Wars universe is already there. I mean, he can expand on it, and make it bigger, but the core is already there. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's just overwhelming. Yeah, I'd be stressed out like big time. Right. And hopefully he's not. Hopefully he's just excited and wants to. Right. And he's going to make something really great. Yeah. And then finally, the last topic, and I do have some extra chatter that I want to talk okay. with you guys about. Um, the Star Wars, the opening tracking for huge 200 million plus opening. So the opening weekend's yep. looking to be. Opening weekend looking to be over 200 million. That's. Awesome. Yeah. Because Force Awakens did 235 million, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think this number. This one has a chance. I think it'll get close. I think it'll it'll be in the 220s. I think it will too. I think it's going to be close. It could could surprise everybody, though, and and beat it. Force Awakens was 248. 248. Maybe not that much then. Right. I'm thinking like 230 is what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking 225. 230. Too like 28. But anything. Over two hundred. Anything really, really over, yeah, over two hundred. That's a smash hit, like yeah. success. So. Yeah, yeah. You've already, you've already made back all the money you spent to make the movie in the opening weekend. Yeah, pretty much. Then, you, you, you collected back your money. Like, I don't see anything coming out. I haven't, I haven't looked recently, but I don't see too much coming out after it. So I think it'll have like repeat viewings all through December and into January. I mean, I know we're seeing it twice in the opening week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll probably go see it again the following week. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be. I'm, I'm sure I'll be going on the, that next weekend during, or maybe on Mondays since I don't work on Mondays. I might go Monday during the day. Yeah. There's, yep. There's it's, nobody else. There's not as many people out there. And their theater will be a little bit to myself a little more. Yep. So I can really concentrate. <laughs> yeah. And really dig watch, into yeah. it. <clears throat> yeah. And I know, like, we have. I have my hopes like set really high for this movie, and I don't think, I don't think I'm you're... at risk at doing that. I don't think you're going to get disappointed. Nope. I just from the trailers we've seen think... so far. It's just as long as the story's good, everything else in this looks phenomenal. So. And just some of the things I've read about, you know, there's other topics that came out this week that I didn't put in because, well, somebody out there is claiming to be showing the first ten minutes of the movie. So who wants to see that? You know. <laughs> I... I don't I mean, want to see that. Do. Then, then, then I'm watching the first 10 minutes, and then I'm like waiting for another 18 days or whatever, being pissed off because I can see <laughs> the, the first 10 minutes and I can't watch the whole thing. So. Right. So, yeah. So, you know, I didn't put any of that stuff up. I haven't personally watched it, and I won't watch it. Yeah, I know. Um, but I know, like, Mark Hamill's coming out with a few statements. There's like, man, this movie is awesome. Like, people are, they're really starting to hype the, this movie. The hype train is in full. Yeah, you know, full force right now. No yeah. pun intended. Yeah, I've seen. I've already seen. I've seen the a few of the different trailers now. Finally on TV. Yep. <clears throat> but they're all starting to make their. You know, the cast is starting to make their rounds, rounds on all, all the, the night 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 talk shows and the daily right. shows and yep. all the other shows that they have out there that and I don't watch. Doing all kinds <laughs> of interviews at places in Mexico and you know in Paris. You know, like yeah, all over the world. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they're on their. Was it their marketing tour, if you will? Yeah. It, so yeah, it's in full force right now. So like a lot of things coming out are border on, you know, some spoiler topics maybe. So I don't include them. That's why this week's a little less. Yeah, you just have to read the headline and you're like, oh like, no, I, I don't want to know about that. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Next. Yeah. I because uh, I think our sister Jordan, we she saw something about Andy Serkis talking about um, Snoke. And I was like, and she's like, he's like talking about like his motives, I think it was about. And I was like, nope, don't want right, to know, know. Yeah, I saw that article <laughs> pop up. Nope, don't want to know yeah, Snoke's like, motives. I, I really won't, don't want to know anything more about Snoke until I see the movie. I really don't want to see anything else until I see the movie. Yeah, me neither. Like the current TV spots are out. That's fine. Did we talk about the Porg last week? The... TV spot with Chewy hitting the porg. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Knocked the off the. <laughs> yeah. So besides that one and the, one, the most recent one with uh, Benicio del Toro. Yeah, the international one. The, I actually mean, they haven't even seen the international one yet. Those are the two newest ones, and they've kind of slowed down on those as well. They're just kind of replaying all the 
ones that are already out. Yeah, there's no need to put any more out, in my opinion. They've got enough out there. Yeah. But I mean, I've seen Nissan commercials oh, that yeah. are like <laughs> Star Wars related and like, yeah, this marketing juggernaut is definitely <laughs> like everything. Oh, uh, man. I could make uh, a joke. Nissan, it's a pile of junk. Hey, I. <laughs> this pile. It's got, hey, it may not look like much, <laughs> but it's got work counts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I made not any modification of that self. It's a junk. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> but, I mean, there's marketing well, right down to like some lettuce you buy in the grocery store. There's like a little picture of R two on it, like, yeah, it's like a bag, what? and like it's grapes what? have Darth Vader on it. And yeah, green you just, grapes have you walk Yoda anywhere on and it. you just see Last Jedi stuff. <laughs> oh, everywhere. Like where? <laughs> I mean, I just went to Walmart before we're taping this, and it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Force Awake or not Force Awake? Last Jedi yeah, thing Last Jedi. everywhere. Everywhere. Yep. <laughs> So they're definitely out there hyping it. Right. So, so it's definitely hit that 200, at minimum 200. I'm guessing 225. Yeah. For the opening weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll hit the billion dollar mark. Yeah, all easy. By the by, the time it's all over. By the time it's over. Yeah. Well, they'll get a bunch of money out of me. It so. might hit the two billion dollar mark and be like one of the only four or five movies to do so. Yeah. Like Force Awakens, Avatar, Titanic. Mm-hmm. There might be one other one that's in Titanic was actually pretty amazing. I don't like that movie, but it's pretty amazing because that's like a while back. So inflation, they've yeah. made more money. So. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It has stayed on the theater for oh my ever. God, that movie is. In, I swear, it was in the theaters for six months. Yeah, dude. I, I feel like the first. Pirates, I never went and saw it, but me neither. The first Pirates movie, that thing like was on for a long time too. Yeah. But okay, so the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, if we're in, going into extra chatter. Yeah, now? yeah. And I totally forgot my friggin' loot crate box. We could have done that, but I didn't. Oops. Oh, your in... smuggler's... Yeah, it's in my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must be what that yellow slip in my P.O. box was. Oh, yeah, I went there been. and they were closed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the thing that I want to talk about is with the arrival of Last Jedi coming out, uh, there have been a lot of, a lot of uh, people <laughs> who are coming out and saying that the that the Force Awakens is one the worst Star Wars movie ever made. Oh yeah, there's all there's people that who say are that. these idiots have they not watched friggin' the Clone War? Or Attack <laughs> no, of Clones? they say that they say that the prequels are better than the Force well, Awakens. That's the younger generation though. There's a lot of these people that are this. There's a lot of people that think those those first three films are better than the originals. Yeah, because they're that's their generation. That's what they grew up on. It's kind of like what we grew up on. You know, where it's basically your generation yeah. is the one that thinks Even those prequels are great. I grew up on the originals before so, I grew oh, yeah. up on the prequels. Well, that's because you got enforced on you by us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, at work, I talked to a kid, because we had like a Star Wars day at work, so I wore my Star Wars shirt, and it was the Last Jedi. You know, I wore that Last Jedi shirt I have. and The um, pop there was, vinyl one? Is that the one? No, nah, no. The one mom got me. Oh, yes. Okay. Like, it looks more like a movie poster. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, I was talking. A kid comes up, and he works there. He's just a younger kid, and walks up and says, Oh, nice shirt, man. I was like, I just saw Force Awakens. It's the first Star Wars movie I ever saw. That thing was so awesome. And I'm like, see, like, for him, Force Awakens is going to be the, the best. best one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be the best movie of yep. all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more than likely. I mean, and then, or maybe Last Jedi, I'll take his place, you know, yeah. and as the newer movies come out, those ones will take his place. But to him, Force Awakens. Yeah, because that's the first one he saw. Right. And like he's since experience. gone back and saw, you know, some of the other, like, I think he saw Rogue One and, you know, put, he hasn't watched them in any kind of order. Yeah, I don't put Rogue One in the same category as the saga. As the, yeah. Now, just like I won't put Han Solo. No, in. it's, uh, Han Solo's going to be getting, getting compared to Rogue One, and which yes. one I like better out of those two. Right? <laughs> yeah. The right. same with if they make an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie. Those three will all go into its own little category and over here. the new yes. Ryan Star Johnson Wars trilogy stories. will be in yeah, that category. In the category over mm. there, too. Yeah, it's not yes. the saga, so it'll be in that category as well. Right. Yeah. But, uh, like, they say that the acting is horrible, which I don't get. No, it's not horrible. Yeah, well, to me, like, if have we you could not just go seen through the Attack of the Clones? <laughs> if, if you had to pick, though, if you, your least favorite a part in Force in Awakens, actor, our oh, actor, as far as performance goes, oh. who would you pick? Well, I'm not. I like. I mean, they're all good. Yeah, they're all. I know one that was like really eh. good. I know Oscar Isaac gets 
a lot of crap, but I think he did good. Is that Poe Dameron? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Poe was good. Yeah, I don't, I don't get why he gets so much Ray hate. was good. Of course, Harrison Ford, you can't go wrong there. Like, so to, to me, I think... Maybe Huck? No, nah, Huck's did a pretty dang My yeah. personal, my personal, like... <laughs> and that's it's just my to, personal yeah, opinion. Yeah. yeah, But if I had to pick one that kind of like... Mm, could have done better. It is Oscar, Oscar Isaac. Isaac and Poe Dameron. And it's huh. just from those open... The opening scene. The opening scene. Where I think it's kind of like... Eh, How so? Only the first time I watched it. Okay. I'm just basing this off the very first, first viewing. Since then, I've I've grown to like... Well, I'd like... Grown to appreciate it. I think the reason why was because... I think all of us were going into that theater scared. We, oh, when I was we, a little I, nervous. Oh, yeah, right? I was nervous. I was terrified. <laughs> because, because I was like... Please don't please, suck. Please, please don't, don't suck. suck. Please, please don't, don't suck. suck. That's, all I, so that's like, all I was saying the that whole first, time. That first, you know, scene of the movie is going to be the one that you judge the most harshly. True. So I, I think that's definitely one of the reasons why. But until I understood what or who Poe was as a character, mm-hmm. like when he's like down on the ground, he's like, do I talk first? You talk first? Yeah. Like, that kind of like, eh, was that necessary? Was that line necessary? When is he trying to be funny? Yeah. And that's, so... Uh, Afterwards, though, right. after you watch it the second time, right. like, I like that line. It's, it's funny. funny. Yeah. It's because you understand his character. But the first time you see him say it, it's like, was that necessary? And then when do you understand his character and who he is, then it makes more sense. I mean, do I have yeah. to pick somebody out of all the, out of like the three or five or seven main actors? So, Hux, Kylo, Hello. Ray, Ray, Pin, Poe, Finn, Poe, Finn, Poe, Finn. Han, Han and Leia Leia and, and Chewbacca do I, do I have to pick out of those people um, or can I go to like Phasma. even a little more and you could go deeper you go fast. Phasma you can't really Hux. do anything with though Hux, uh, uh, Snoke out of all of them I would have to say <sighs> John Boyega ah, I, no, I, see, I, I think Finn, Finn was great right. yeah. so did I yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah he was actually probably, I thought he did probably the best out of all of the acting yeah but I'm not an actor, so what the hell? What do I know? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go with out of everybody in the movie. <laughs> crap. It's hard. It's a hard one. I might pick uh, Kylo Ren. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. I think he grew into the character. At the very beginning, he was. To me, his character but changed his, a lot. His, his character was supposed to be kind of just like. Brutal loose and cannon. loose cannon, and yeah, and and brutal and friggin' just non caring, non emotional. He he grew on me as the movie went on, but maybe those first few scenes where he's like still in his helmet the whole time and he's talking, and he's just maybe that's maybe it's just the voice, you know, the modulator, and it's you can't really do much in the way of acting with that. You know, with yeah, your voice, you can't do any voice really. Voice, it's harder to do. I don't know. But even then, he's. Yeah, I thought he was great. So it's just hard to pick anybody. Yeah, see, out of that to cast. me, Adam I thought Driver they were all good. is great. I thought <laughs> my favorite and Hans, you know, Harrison Ford, notwithstanding. You Harrison have to choose the new actors. Harrison Ford, oh, awesome, right? Likely. Yeah, yeah, Harrison Ford. I didn't did my expect job. great, great things from Leia. I got exactly what I expected from Carrie Fisher mm-hmm. and her portrayal of Leia. Yeah. To me, it was perfect. Leia is a tired, worn out <laughs> general. general who is just not only keeping been doing this crap since she was sixteen, the resistance or, 15 together, or fourteen or whatever. Right. But just trying to hold it together herself. herself. Yeah. You know, her son's out there you know, turned to the other side. So her brother's she gone has, missing. Right. She has so much to deal with. I thought her portrayal, like since she just looked like tired, like to me it was perfect. Like I yeah. so Okay, I'll I'll pick a new person, Anthony Daniels. <laughs> he did a, he does a good job as as C three PO, but I I didn't like some of the lines that he had. It wasn't yeah, his, I, that I, wasn't I agree his with fault. that. I agree. Like, with what's that. with the freaking red arm? Why did you even do that? What was the what right was point? the point? What was the point of that? I don't know if that got cut or something, and it got left on the cutting room floor. That that had a meaning to it. You never noticed my red arm. And then like yeah, and then you may not have recognized me. My red <laughs> arm. Yeah. So maybe I'll pick Anthony Daniels, but he's been great. Yeah, he's playing the part of C three PO his whole for ye- basically yeah. his whole life. Yeah, for years. 
So, so but I'll, I'll take Anthony Daniels. It's not a knock on him. I thought he he's a great actor. I think his lines weren't the greatest. And you know, he you know, he didn't have much to do in this movie. No, three PO and R two are completely underutilized in the movie. Yeah. Yes. And so I, like, I hope to see more from them actually in Last Jedi. One of the biggest complaints is like you know it's a carbon copy of D- of New Hope. Now we have discussed this before. But there are new things that I've noticed, and it's like, if it's such a carbon copy, we should have carbon copies of Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, Obi-Wan, um, and, you know, I think that's, yeah, and C-3PO, R2-D2, right? In, in the form of these new characters. And on the bad side, Darth Vader. Yeah. The Emperor. So let's, like... Tarkin. Compare but like what you kind of have on the dark side. Yeah, you got those three yeah. that that triangle. True. But you also got Phasma, which is totally different. Different, yeah. So you you know like Luke and Ray. Sure, they both grew up on a desert planet, but, but under, Ray <laughs> Ray is completely different from Luke. Completely different circumstances. Personality, right? Different circumstances, different personalities. Because yeah, Luke wants to leave. She's not sure whether or not she, she wants no, to leave. No, she doesn't want to leave. She's yeah. waiting for her family. Yeah. yeah she... Where Luke has a family mm. and loses it. Yeah. Um, I just don't want like... I don't... I, I mean, I understand some of the similarities, but it's totally not the same movie. No. <laughs> I, I mean, watch them back to back. It's not the same movie. No. It really isn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, uh, what can you do? People, people are just going to be... Well, I mean, there's Ignorant. always gonna be well, there's always gonna be those people who, <laughs> who just don't like it, and that's fine. I mean, yeah, they're yeah but you have to have legitimate right reasons for not liking it, and I I think just calling it a carbon copy of A New Hope is not a very legitimate well, reason. They just haven't like really looked at the movie. I think they kind of went in expecting a like a brand new story, right? And if you know anything about George Lucas's storytelling through one you know, episode one through episode six. It's all about, it's a poetry. So a lot of repeats, mm-hmm. it repeats itself quite yeah. often. Yep. Yeah, it's like a, what's it called? They just continued that tradition. It's basically an opera, and the operas do the same thing. It's, you know, they're kind of repetitive. Yeah. yeah. They, you know. Yep. There's an so, echo. Yeah. There's always yeah. an echo. Echo from the past. Right. Yep. So, I don't, I don't have a problem with No. I Force thought Awakens great. is fourth or fifth best favorite movie for me third for of me. all time all, yeah, of all, all movies of, of all movies in general no, just all the oh, star wars movies. star wars movies yeah i'd say third for me i like the <laughs> i like it a lot <laughs> and i can understand there's like my generation i love the original three there's people that grew up with the prequels, the prequels and they love that and now there's people them. growing up and with it's like i look at them i go but they're not really not that good but they're like no look this 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 and they right. rattle off stuff that they love about it and it's like okay man i mean you, sure. you have your, you know, it's your generation, so maybe you know something I don't know. Right. And, well, it's funny because on Twitter, Christian Harloff, who's on Jedi Council with Collider, he put out his, he ranked his movies, like one through whatever, one Seven. through nine, oh, nine of the theatricals because oh, Clone okay. Wars was yeah. a theatrical release. Yeah, technically. And so he put his rankings one through nine of which movies he liked the best. So, you know, everybody followed up with their own rankings and he, vastly different. Yes. <laughs> For everybody. Yeah. And you can tell the ones who grew up with the prequels first and the ones who are in their 40s and upper 30s who grew up with the originals. I mean, just by the way the lists are... Yeah. Well, are, that makes know, sense, though, man, because that's your childhood. And that's why right. you latched onto it. It's because you were a kid and it was like something that was out of... You know, it's like, this is the coolest thing ever. It's impossible. How is this even possible? Yeah, I, you know, I want to live in this universe. As you get older, you don't think of it like that as, as much. You start comparing it to your childhood. Oh, that's not as good as when I was a kid. Yeah, the amount of prequel <laughs> toys that I got to play with when I was a kid were, were pretty good. So, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's just different strokes yep, for, for different, different folks. folks. <laughs> yeah. So, what can you do? Um... But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I guess we'll wrap it up. Yeah, we'll wrap yeah, it might up. As well. uh, 30 second? Yes, I believe so. so. Um, maybe 33rd. I don't know. <laughs> I upload these things, but I'm like, I'm hey, always a bit seconds. sketchy on, on what episode we're on. Um, yeah, I think it's 30 second. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this 30 second episode of Red 2 Chatter. There wasn't much to talk about today, but, uh, you know, that happens. 
And I think, yeah, again, it'll get less and less and less. So, guys, start thinking up extra chatter stuff because I think it's just going to get less and less and less from here on yeah, well, out until like, Last Jedi comes out. Well, guess, well, yeah, a little over two weeks. Yeah, so we won't have to worry about two weeks of this. Yeah. yeah. And then I think that's going to go full bore into the Han Solo stuff. Yeah. You're going to start seeing a lot oh, yeah, more yeah. talk about that movie. And, of course, the from next Lucas one. Lucas number yeah, nine. After Christmas, after Christmas, I bet the Han Solo... Juggernaut is in full. Like they do, you, <laughs> you really think start gonna, ramping it up. You think they're gonna put a trailer in in the <sighs> Last uh, Jedi? I don't know. It might be too soon. I don't know. Yeah, maybe not opening week. No. Opening yeah, it might get put in later on. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Like in January. Maybe not opening week. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Okay. All right. Back so up. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Uh, please go like and follow our Facebook page. Uh, Jay here. Is a master at, upload, at uploading at uploading to finding all this stuff. Page. Yeah, he, yeah. He, I don't know where he finds some of these. <laughs> well, links. I follow a lot of different news sites that <laughs> are all about Star Wars as well. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, he's he's really dedicated to the page. He uploads like daily. Uh, I would help, but I don't know how to use Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just terrible at remembering to upload things, except for when it comes to YouTube. Um, where, Jay, where can people find you other than the... Other than our own Red to Chatter Facebook page, you can find me on Instagram Facebook. at Jay Wilson by Design, and you can find me at Twitter at JayBird51. I don't do social media. <laughs> and you got me uh, who does gaming videos on YouTube, Major Glitterix, down in the link of the description. Down in the description on the... On, down below on the description, <laughs> no, there is a up. link. There is a link on There's in the description below. Down here. Yes, right there. Um, and I just recently finished Yakuza 2. I'm going to start uploading that whole series. Um, fun game. Not going to spoil anything, but the twist ending to that game is probably one of the worst twists <laughs> I've seen ever. So, yeah. Um, but, I, but please go check me out uh, if you guys like gaming and stuff. So, um, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe again if you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Laters.